So I'm back in the doll room and I have a few packages and things that I've ordered to show you. Plus, I got some hints on where to buy some dolls. And I'll show you everything that's on this table. There's just a lot here. So first of all, why don't we look at these boxes so I can get them out of the way. This is from Amazon. I've already opened it, but I didn't take the dolls out of the box. I've opened the package. Now, this is the Bumbleberry Girls. And I ordered, who is this one? This one is Brimley. Remember when I got all those um, Bumbleberries? I was missing Brimley and Danica. And Danica is that African-American one. Yeah, and this is her. And I knew that Amazon was selling them, so I went ahead and ordered these two dolls. If you notice, the packaging is a little different. So I'm going to open these guys up right now and show you what they look like. I just wanted to confirm that they were in the box. That's why I opened the original cardboard box. So I'm going to open these up right now and show you what these dolls look like. Okay, so I'm just going to cut a little here. I'm not too worried about ruining the box since I'm taking the dolls out of the packaging. So who's here? Let's see. Oh my goodness. I opened up Danica. She has some tape here, so let me. There she goes. Look at Danica. This is my first African American Bumbleberry girl. I just love her. And she's dressed. And she comes with a cute kawaii pink and white backpack. I just love these girls. Now this is, I hope this doesn't become another obsession because now I'm really liking these 14 inch dolls. She is beautiful. I love her. So we have Danica now. I'm going to put her box aside. Now let's see Brimley. Brimley is the blonde. And she, we didn't have her from when we bought all those dolls. But as you guys saw, we got her on eBay. So now this is my second Brimley. And there she goes. And she is wearing the dress that we got on eBay. Take a look at her. She is beautiful as well. Look at the flowers on her hair. And these shoes. I love these shoes, actually. So um, Danica is wearing similar shoes. They remind me of uh, Crocs. But she is adorable and also with a pink, adorable backpack. I'm actually going to learn how to make these because they don't look that hard, but very cute. So I have two Bumbleberry Girls to add to my collection. And my collection is getting pretty big with these 14-inch dolls. I just have to uh, see my way through to getting some uh, Welly Wishers. But now I, as you guys remember from the eBay uh, haul, I have clothes now for these girls. So this is just very exciting. So I'm going to move this packaging out of the way. So next, I'm going to open this box. I've already opened it because this box I got on Macari. And with Macari, you have to give a response and let the seller know that you got the item. And this way, the seller gets paid. So whenever I get a package from Macari, I'm going to go ahead and open it, but still show you guys what it is. And I, I, I take a look, and I know it's in here. Then I put it right back so I can show you guys. And then I can look at it more thoroughly once I open it up. And this, guys, this is Madeline. I got Madeline, her cute little house. And inside, there she goes. This is Madeline. And there's clothing. Now, I have to admit, when I saw all these cute little dresses, I was immediately thinking about getting buying this lot for my other dolls. And I'll show you the prices at the end, and you'll see that I got a good deal. I forgot what I paid, but it was fairly inexpensive. But there she goes, Madeline, and comes with this cute little house, several outfits, and in the drawer, there's a drawer here, 
the drawers filled with little accessories and little hangers. I just love this. And I especially love getting two more dresses for some of my smaller dolls. Oh my gosh, my Bratz doll fell over. I'll just fix him. I just noticed that. Okay. <laughs> so now I'll show you all of this laid out um, at the end of the video with prices. So moving right along. And you guys know that Audrey works with me at my shop. She went to Goodwill. And when she came to work, this is what she found. I, of course, reimburse her when she spends money for me. This is a Brad's doll. She got this for $1.99 with shoes, <laughs> giant shoes and everything. So take a look at her. I just love this doll. And Audrey was getting rid of a Tsum Tsum and she gave it to me. So I'm, I'm so excited. Take a look at this. Very kawaii. She didn't want it anymore. And so these two items were from Audrey. And let me show you what else I got here. I'm liking all these little dolls and trying to get dolls for my dolls. And on Macari as well, there was these little dolls. These, I think, are the Lori dolls. And you know that I love twins. So when the seller was selling twin six-inch dolls, I had to buy them. And... I also bought, she was also selling this one too, a little ballerina. So I got these three dolls and I think they were about $10. I'll look it up and um, let you know. So there's these three dolls. Okay. Did you see those? Okay. And this one. Okay. So now, Audrey, amazing. She went to a store that we have here in Massachusetts, it's called BJ's. It's like a warehouse store, a big box store, um, like Sam's Club of Costco. And she immediately sent me a text that the Shibu Juku girls were on sale and they were $12, I think $12.49. So take a look at this. I have some Shibu Juku girls up here, but look at this. They usually go for like, um, I think $24.99 or $19.99 at Target and Toys R Us. I got these dolls for $12 each. So you guys know I'm building a collection of these. And when I get them in the box, sometimes I keep them in the box. But if they're not in the box, then I'll just add them to my collection. So take a look at this one. Uh, this one is Miki. And this one is looks like Ko. So... Thanks to Audrey, I was able to add these two because I don't have these two. I add these two to my collection. And then I went online and well, what I think, oh, it was on Let Go, this app called Let Go. And there was another Shibujuku girl. There were two of them in one lot and the guy was selling them for $20. The boxes were open, but the dolls were basically uh, brand new. So I immediately talked to Audrey. She wanted one of the dolls. And because I already had it, it was um, the one with the striped hat and I already had her. So Audrey wanted her and I was able to get this girl. This is Namika, Nam yeah, Namika, another Shibujuku girl. She's wearing like um, the Japanese school girl outfit. I just love her. So I got this one and Audrey got the one with the striped hat. I forgot her name right now, but I'll, I'll insert a picture and you'll see which one Audrey got. So these two dolls were $20, so we paid $10 each. So we, I've shown you a lot of dolls, and the last thing I'm gonna show you is this. This is also from Mercari, and I know what's in here. This is a big box of Big Bratz babies. Oh my gosh, take a look at this. I store them in these boxes so I can show you guys the video. Oh my gosh, I just love her. This, I think, is Chloe. This is my first one. She needs to be totally cleaned up, have her hair done, and maybe redress, even though I, I don't know if I will find clothes that fit her. Maybe just wash what she's wearing, then add her to our collection. And take a look at this one. Take a look. Another Bratz baby. It looks like she's actually wearing some kind of little diapers. Very cute. So... And she has her two ponytails intact. So these two Bratz babies were from Macari. And I'll put the prices at the end of the video, like I keep saying. But basically, that's what I have to show you guys today. This was a great 
haul. This is what I've accumulated and got in the mail in about the last two days. So I'm glad I was able to make the video today and show you guys what we're adding to our collection. I am so excited. I love shopping online, especially with apps like Macari and Let Go because you can really find some really great dolls at great prices to add to your collections. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.